you guys ready? Uh, yep, just let me know when you want to start. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Let's start it up. And good. So, I'm going to be talking about uh, World War II and more importantly, the leaders of World War II. So, for most people, when they look when they look in the history of World War II, they think of America and they think of how Pearl Harbor started World War II. When really World War II started many some people would even say a decade before America was even involved in World War II. So, many of the historical leaders were never really discussed in American history textbooks or even courses because of the fact that that America won or is considered the winner of World War II. So some of the leaders we'll talk about maybe you haven't heard of before. I'm sure you've heard of Winston Churchill though. So Winston Churchill, he was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1940, 1940 to 1945. Perfect World War II era uh, leader. He was, to me, he was actually the main leader of the Allied forces in the beginning of World War II. Uh, the United Kingdom was really the major force in early World War II to Germany because at the time, as many people know, uh, Hitler and Stalin signed their non-aggressive pact, which uh, kind of made the United Kingdom the big target for Germany. And another major leader of World War II, which we'll discuss later. So Franklin Roosevelt, obviously the President of the United States during most of World War II, uh, he would pass away during World War II, which would lead to Harry Truman, which I will not put Harry, I did not put Harry Truman in here because I don't actually view him as much as a leader of a World War II era country uh, because really he's only known for dropping the atomic bomb. Uh, he was the active president during the Pearl Harbor attacks, which most people remember him for his speech after the Pearl Harbor attacks. Uh, so that's Franklin Roosevelt. Probably the most notorious leader of World War II, Adolf Hitler. He was Germany's leader during World War II. He was, he was elected Chancellor of Germany in 1933 until his death in 1945. Uh, most people would consider him probably the most evil person maybe that's ever walked on earth. He's definitely in my top five. Uh, he, pretty much everything is self-explanatory with him. He's just, he was a man that believed that Germany uh, should be basically a utopia. Germany was the only thing that mattered and he blamed everything wrong in the world on Jewish people, black people, uh, people with disabilities, uh, gypsies. He was not a nice individual. And luckily, he, uh, he would lose. Pretty much because of this man, Joseph Stalin. Uh, leader of the Soviet Union or USSR during World War II. Uh, he rivals Hitler in uh, evilness, in my opinion. Uh, he was viewed as a ruthless communist and rival to Hitler. Uh, what most textbooks won't tell you, and my personal opinion, if it wasn't for Stalin and the USSR, uh, we'd be probably having a different conversation on who won World War II. Or America would have probably had to have dropped an atomic bomb on Germany as well. Uh, Stalin's men were notorious for dying on the field because if they retreated, he would kill them. So it's, it's kind of hard when you're a soldier going, do I die on the field or do, do I run back and die because... Stalin doesn't believe in retreating. Uh, he became a major part of the Allied powers after Hitler went back on the non-aggressive pact. Uh, probably Hitler's demise in the war was going back on that pact. 
Um, yeah, again, evil guy, but glad he he was kind of you know as they say the the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So he was America's enemy of our enemy. Benito Mussolini, uh, Prime Minister of Italy from 1922 until his ousting by his own people in 1943. Sided with Germany after Germany invaded Poland in 1939. Probably his best move at that point. If he didn't side with Germany, he probably would have been killed four years earlier in 1939. Uh, he knew Italy could not withstand a great war with France and Great Britain. Probably more of the reason that he sided with Germany, because Germany at the time had the largest army in all of Europe and pretty much the world at that point. They had a bigger uh, army than the United States at that point. And this guy, Hideki Tojo, Prime Minister of Japan during most of World War II, uh, personally responsible for the attacks on Pearl Harbor, which led to the United States entering World War II. He, uh, he even said at, after the, uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, that he was not sure if it was the right move to do and if he woke a sleeping giant. Uh, after the war, he was arrested and sentenced to death. And that is it. Six minutes and 20 seconds.